If you have ever felt the stress and anxiety that accompany kidney failure, know that you are not alone. Science now disputes the long-held belief that kidney illness will only get worse with time. Here in this revolutionary video, I am about to share something that will change your entire perspective on kidney health. Picture a world where no kidney patient ever has to deal with the possibility of losing a kidney again. It sounds incredible, doesn't it? Well, that world isn't just a dream. We are on the doorstep of a kidney health revolution, thanks to recent scientific breakthroughs. An epic eight-year study with 400 participants has revealed secrets we never knew. And here's the best part. I'm going to tell you how even people with advanced kidney disease, stages four and five, can regain their health. Get ready to learn the 10 revolutionary steps that are giving kidney patients the power to take charge of their own stories and rewrite them. Are you prepared to embark on a path towards a better and healthier future? With the knowledge and strategies shared in this video, you will be able to take charge of your kidney health and make informed choices that will affect your well-being for years to come. So, without any more delay, let's start. First things, get oxalates under control. The kidneys are helped by a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, but it can be difficult to figure out which foods are beneficial and which are harmful. Natural compounds found in many plant-based meals, such as spinach and almonds, are called oxalates. These compounds can stick together and form crystals in your kidneys if you have them too much. But don't worry because you don't have to say no to these foods completely. It's about finding balance. You can do that in two ways. First, some foods like those with lots of calcium can help keep those oxalates in check. Calcium tends to bind with oxalates, making it easier for them to pass through the kidneys, reducing their chances of forming. Second, oxalate levels in vegetables can be reduced by boiling them, which means that consuming boiled vegetables can reduce the likelihood of developing kidney stones. Fiber, typically found in fruits and vegetables, can also help keep oxalate levels in check. Fiber has the potential to bind with oxalates in the stomach, preventing them from absorbing and going into the bloodstream. Decreased oxalate levels in the bloodstream suggest reduced chances of developing oxalate stones. Thus, as you can see, it's all about balance, adding good foods and making smart choices. Stay tuned for more kidney-saving strategies coming up in Step 2. But before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a subscriber. Step 2. Get rid of uric toxins. Have you ever heard of uric toxins? They're specific waste products and toxic substances that can build up in the blood, especially when the kidneys are unable to efficiently filter and eliminate them from the body. These toxins can occur due to the breakdown of proteins, the metabolism of amino acids, and other metabolic processes that can increase the amounts of cretinin, urea, and nitrogen-based substances in your body, particularly when your kidneys aren't healthy enough to excrete them out of your body. The fiber in your meal, particularly soluble fiber, binds with water and produces a gel-like substance in your stomach. This gel can bind to waste products, including uric toxins, and prevent them from entering your bloodstream. One highly rich source of soluble fiber is acacia fiber, often known as gum arabic. It is obtained from the sap of the acacia senegal tree. Acacia fiber often includes a high amount of soluble fiber, around 85 to 95 percent of its weight. Surprisingly, some studies show that individuals with serious kidney diseases can potentially avoid dialysis for up to eight years with their help. Being the soluble fiber, Acacia fiber helps prevent too much harmful stuff from getting absorbed into your bloodstream, such as uric toxins, which can be particularly useful for you if you have kidney issues. Step 3. Increase vitamin D intake. Ever wondered how one vitamin can make such a significant difference? Well, research suggests that roughly 80% of persons with kidney disorders lack sufficient vitamin D. But it's not just any absence. Low levels of vitamin D have been related to the development of kidney disease, making it a vital mineral to pay attention to. Maintaining proper vitamin D levels can help manage blood pressure, maintain bone health, 
and even lower creatinine levels. Additionally, vitamin D has shown promise in reducing proteinuria, a disorder where there's too much protein in the urine, frequently signaling kidney failure. If you're curious about your vitamin D levels, there's a test called the 25-hydroxy vitamin D test. If your score is below 30 per milliliter, experts think it's not optimal. Fortunately, raising your vitamin D consumption is simple. Take roughly 2,000 international units of vitamin D daily, coupled with a bit of vitamin K2 and magnesium. For patients with more serious renal disorders, there are specialist vitamin D supplements that your doctor can prescribe. Step 4. Hydration Habits Water is like the drink of life, flowing through your body, rinsing your kidneys, and ensuring they work their best. But why is staying hydrated essential for kidney health, and how can we make sure we're drinking enough? Well, sufficient hydration keeps your blood volume constant, helping your kidneys filter waste and maintain electrolyte balance. Without enough water, your kidneys have to work extra hours, which can lead to problems like kidney stones and urinary tract infections. So, how much water should you drink to keep your kidneys happy? While the recommendation of eight glasses a day is a good start, your needs could differ based on factors including age, exercise level, and environment. Pay attention to what your body is telling you and consume water throughout the day to satisfy your thirst and maintain your kidneys operating efficiently. Step 5. Monitoring Blood Pressure and Blood Sugar Levels Your vital signs are the body's own weather prediction, providing essential information regarding kidney health and overall well-being. High blood pressure and uncontrolled blood sugar can wreak havoc on your kidneys, harming the delicate filtration mechanism. If left uncontrolled, these silent criminals can lead to renal disease and other significant problems. So, how can we maintain our blood pressure and blood sugar in check? Proactive management and consistent monitoring are crucial. Investing in a home blood pressure monitor and blood glucose meter allows you to keep track of these important readings simply. This empowers you to take charge of your health, making informed decisions along the way. Step 6. Regular Exercise Regular exercise is like the magic key that opens a world of health and vitality. It's not just about looking wonderful, it's about strengthening your body from the inside out, especially your kidneys. But why is exercise so vital for kidney health, and how can we make it a part of our daily routine? Well, exercise stimulates blood flow throughout your body, particularly to your kidneys. This helps flush out pollutants and waste items more effectively. Plus, it helps control blood pressure, reduces the incidence of diabetes, and maintains a healthy weight, all crucial for kidney function. So, what's a kidney-friendly fitness routine? It's all about finding activities that get your heart beating and muscles moving without stressing your kidneys. From brisk walks to stimulating swims, there are many ways to get your daily dose of exercise. Even little improvements, like taking the stairs or parking farther away, can build up to major health benefits over time. So let's lace up those sneakers and embrace the power of exercise to unlock a future of kidney health and vitality. Step 7. Managing Stress Levels Stress is like an undercover criminal, gradually scratching away at your well-being and producing destruction in your body and mind. Chronic stress sets off a chain reaction in your body, releasing hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Over time, these hormones may damage your kidneys by increasing blood pressure, tampering with blood sugar levels, and reducing your immune system, all things that lead to kidney failure. So, how do we fight back against stress and keep our kidneys safe? It starts with knowing themselves and developing healthy strategies to cope with life's problems. From mindfulness and deep breathing to yoga and tai chi, there are various strategies to relax your mind and restore balance to your body. However, stress management is more than just finding quiet spots in a busy world. It's also about developing resilience and maintaining a positive mentality. By changing how you think, making reasonable objectives, and taking care of yourself, you may create a strong defense against stress and keep your kidneys healthy. Step 8. Getting Adequate Sleep Sleep is like hitting the reset button for your body and mind 
providing you the time to rest and revive after a hard day. But why is sleep so vital for kidney health? And how can we make sure we're getting enough quality shut-eye? Well, sleep plays a crucial role in regulating hormone levels, repairing tissues, and supporting overall well-being. While you sleep, your body detoxifies, clearing away toxins and waste products that might build up in your kidneys and other organs. So, how do we ensure we're getting the restorative sleep our bodies need? It all starts with building healthy sleep habits and creating a relaxing bedtime routine. From sticking to a consistent sleep schedule to establishing a peaceful sleep environment, there are many steps we can take to improve our sleep quality and quantity. But getting adequate sleep isn't just about the hours on the clock. It's about prioritizing rest in a world that often prioritizes rush and productivity above all else. By making time for restorative sleep and honoring our body's natural rhythms, we may support kidney health and pave the way for a future of vitality and well-being. Step 9. Identifying and addressing the root cause When it comes to defending your kidneys, it's crucial to treat the fundamental problems head-on. Here's a surprising fact. Roughly half of people with renal difficulties also battle diabetes. Yes, diabetes stands as a leading cause of renal disease. But here's the good news. Recent studies show that even if you've had type 2 diabetes for up to 11 years, there's still potential for reversal. Isn't that remarkable? So, what's the natural method to combating diabetes? It starts with your diet. Recent research reveals that merely changing what you eat can reverse diabetes. One natural medicine receiving attention in this fight is apple cider vinegar, ACV. Integrating ACV into your routine is simple. Mix one to two tablespoons of unfiltered ACV in a glass of water and drink it before meals, two to three times a day. This combo can help reduce blood sugar levels and enhance insulin sensitivity. But that's not all. ACV might also aid in weight loss. In research, those who ingested roughly 15 milliliters of ACV with their lunch and dinner achieved almost double the weight loss compared to others. Since obesity is a major risk factor for diabetes and heart disease, consuming one to two tablespoons of ACV daily can be a positive step toward preventing different health conditions, including kidney disease. Step 10. Make simple dietary adjustments. In addition to the information offered in the previous four steps, a few easy changes to your diet can substantially help in your recovery from renal disease. Firstly, limiting sodium consumption is necessary to maintain blood pressure and fluid retention. This involves avoiding processed and packaged foods renowned for their high salt levels. Depending on your kidney disease stage, you may also need to check your protein consumption. Consuming significant amounts of protein can strain the kidneys, especially if you're struggling with kidney stones or chronic renal illness. It's recommended to visit a healthcare practitioner to determine a safe level of protein consumption for you. Potassium is generally advantageous for persons with healthy kidneys and those in the early stages of renal disease. However, if you're in an advanced stage, your kidneys might struggle to balance potassium levels. In such circumstances, restricting high-potassium meals like bananas, oranges, tomatoes, and potatoes becomes vital. Refined carbs such as white bread, white rice, and pasta should be avoided. Instead, choose complex carbohydrates like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Certain fruits stand out for their kidney-friendly qualities, including apples, berries, grapes, pineapple, and watermelon. These are abundant in fiber, assist maintain blood sugar levels, and offer energy without overworking your kidneys. Limiting alcohol consumption is vital, as excessive alcohol might damage kidney function and potentially interact with medications. For patients with diabetes, regulating blood sugar levels is crucial for kidney function. Work together with your healthcare team to manage your diabetes properly. Lastly, staying hydrated is crucial. Water helps your kidneys clear waste and toxins properly. However, if you're already struggling with kidney troubles, talk with your healthcare professional about the optimum amount of water intake for your condition. If you find this information beneficial, share it with your friends and family. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening thoughts on health and well-being. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, take care of yourself.